I do think he has been motivated strongly by the Holy Spirit and the assignment on his life. He's a key chess player of God. If I had to choose Russian, well, I shouldn't say that because that'll get me in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Be careful now. What's called our government now yeah. is Russia's government. I would take that because if you actually go what they're saying and what they're for and for the freedom of their people and proper patriotism and, and, and uh, family and serving God, that those are things coming out. People don't know that you have to be able to get a hold of the messaging that's coming from Putin and the government there. That's what they want. They're not trying to bring their people into bondage. They're trying to bring them into freedom. They're trying to, uh, they want to see families established. They want people to serve and worship God. Are they doing it all right and how they go about it? No. But as opposed to our, in quote, present uh, uh, government leadership, who's trying to enslave us, mm -hmm. put us in bondage, no telling what they would do if there was not the voice of Trump on the side saying what he's saying and everything else. But if you consider uh, uh, the fact that they have totally bought into the new world order and the agenda to depopulate and allowing Fauci to have this key key place. If you go, where is it more dangerous to be a citizen of? It is if you just looked at it face value, not know what God's doing behind the scene. It's much more dangerous to be a citizen in this country under who we have in our government, as opposed really? to Magog and Gog, what people are trying to uh, uh, um, say over there. 